This time on Pedalbox, we begin the exhausting task of fitting our rear silencer and designing all of our rear bumper supports. That's good. Now we're adding another manufacturer to the mix. This is a Toyota GT86 back box. And although we have got Subaru in already, and technically the 86 is built in a Subaru factory with a Subaru engine by Subaru engineers, and then badged up with a Toyota badge, we'll count it for the sake of what we want, joining Porsche, MG, and VW Audi in the mix. So what we're going to do is build some extensions coming out the back of the chassis to around about here that we can mount the back box onto. Now, I spent quite a lot of time on eBay looking for an appropriate box that we could easily pick off the shelf, and this is the closest thing to it. Not very many have inlets on the top of the silencers, and without building a completely custom box ourselves, which is prohibitively expensive at this point, this is as close as we can get. It needs a small modification where this pipe is rotated round, and that will allow us to go into the cat and then into the turbo. Now, extensions themselves are going to come off the back of these chassis legs, which have been open like this since about episode six, which was more than two years ago at this point, and we'll come further out to around about here, and then we'll have a crash bar that goes across the back, which we can remove if we need to take the engine off. So that'll just be a bolt-on, bolt-off piece, but it means we can hang bodywork, lights, a number plate, you know, all those legally required things for a car on the road. We had some of the same 80mm box left over from when we did the rails back in episode six. We're going to cut this shape of the frame out of the end of this leg and then butt the front edge of it right up into there and weld the whole way along. So let's drop this in and there we go. To fit seamlessly onto the end of what's there, we have to make a notch and take one side out where it contacts the suspension turret. That will allow the extension to fit flush and seamlessly onto the rest of the car. As we're welding smaller section box onto the end of this, we've capped off the end to give all four sides of the new extension something to weld onto. The first part of our new chassis extension at the back here is these. So these are basically the same 80 by 80 mil box that we had before. We've cut a notch out the side there so that it actually fits over our suspension turret. And we're going to cap it off like that, nice and easy. Now the next up, we're going to start extending out the back with a 60 by 30 box that we've got loads and loads of in the garage. This is going to run out of here from the top right corner out here as far back as it needs to. Now to make sure that when this is taking any stress, we're not bending this plate too much because the plate would be quite weak on its own. We've put a little reinforcement gusset inside just to sort of hold the plate out against any forces that this experiences. So we're gonna build up this whole arm as far back as it has to go to clear the silencer, which we're gonna offer up now and just try and get a bit of a feeling for how far out this is gonna have to go. Once again, our massive pile of clamps comes in handy, and with a few pieces of scrap added in for good measure, we can align the two pieces of 80mm and 60 by 30 mil box to make sure that they're exactly in parallel before they get joined forever. Here's one of our finished extensions. The other one's already clamped on the other side, ready to weld up, but I'm just gonna show you around what we've made here so that you've got a bit of an idea of what we're doing. We've got the horizontal flat bar gonna come out the back, which we're gonna mount the rear bumper and everything onto. This end goes up against the body, the existing chassis that we've got, and we've had to cut out the side to clearance around our suspension turret, which actually comes into the width of our chassis arms. So we're gonna throw these on, weld them up, and move on to the vertical supports. To make sure it's aligned right, we've run a piece of box section down the outside of the chassis as far as we can and clamped it to make sure it's okay that way. And we're now gonna check the level where we've zeroed this little meter on a further forward part of the chassis. So we put this down, hopefully it makes the noise. It's not gonna make the noise. There we go, it made the noise. It's been a while, the weather's been kind of screwing us for a few weekends in a row now, but we've got a bit of dry, so we're gonna try and capitalize on that where we can. Now, although we haven't finished welding these new extensions on fully in place, we have had to prime them to try and keep some of the rain off. But while we're working out today, we're just gonna throw some new plates on. We're gonna pop some little infill triangles on the back of our turrets to clean those up a bit. I'm gonna put a nice reinforcing brace, if I can remember which way round this fits, on here, just to give it a bit more vertical strength and hopefully stop it from swinging up and down so much as we start hanging the exhaust and everything else on the back here.
Now that we've done the really important work of cosmetically cleaning up the backs of our tyres here, we can move on to minor little details like actually hanging the exhaust. To do that, we've made up a couple of brackets. This is a two-part bolt-together bracket made of a piece of box section that we've cut down the middle and turned into a channel, and we've put some holes through it that we can bolt into, and we've then cut two faces off of some much thicker box section, which we're going to use as the actual removable bracket. So this part, which is the one that we cut in half, welds onto the side of the body here, and then we bolt this section on, and this top piece that we bolt on is going to contain the hangers that the exhaust is going to hang onto. Now while I was getting these welded in, Adrian was turning down some pieces of metal rod that we could use in our hangers here. So we've got little rubber hangers, fairly standard one size fits all things. We're going to pop these through the rubber, and then we're going to use some little half inch box section, because we didn't have enough of the rod for this. We're just going to run that all the way from the hanger onto our bracket here. So we're going to get those welded up now. Here are the completed brackets. We've designed them this way with the intention of putting them on the exhaust so the whole exhaust system is one assembly that we can then drop in complete, just like this. Now there's one more piece we need to add on to our extensions, but we didn't put them in in case they got in the way of fabricating these. As it turns out, they wouldn't have, but now we can put them in. So this stay is going to come down from the top of the turret here and then we can prime all of this section back up again for about the seventh or eighth time. Now to hang the rear bumper on the back of the car here, we're going to do something quite similar to what we did with our brackets at the front. We've got a couple of metal plates that we've bolted together and sandwiched up, and we're going to weld these onto the back of our tubes. Now it's quite similar construction to the front end, so if you want to see a bit more detail on how this works, check out the episode linked up in the corner. But for now, we're going to charge right ahead with getting these welded on. Now the last thing we've added into this for a little bit of structure integrity and to make it look a bit nicer is a small triangle of box just between the outside edge of this plate and the outside edge of our extension. That just cleans up this area a little bit and it makes this plate, especially where this bolt mounts, a lot stronger. It now doesn't bend, which was great when we were tweaking it back in line because it had warped a little bit with the welding, but really we don't want that to happen anymore. We put the box back in again and we can see exactly how it's sitting on the hangers now we've got the brackets done. It's sitting a little bit forward, so it's tipped like this at the moment. We might want to get some longer hangers later in order to just lower that down. But right now we need to deal with this. This is the inlet into the back box, which at the moment inlets from right under here, underneath the arm. And there's no way we're going to be able to route that simply from there all the way around into the turbo over here. So what we're going to do is cut this right off at the edge of the box itself, shorten this down about four or five inches, and then re-weld it on. But we're also going to rotate it round to the top to give us a nice clear shot from there, around, back across, and down into the box itself. Should be nice and simple, and make our routing a lot easier to get to. A custom exhaust would have been perfect, but that's also expensive. And modifying this one is both cheap and easy. After a good deal of searching, we picked this one up on eBay for £50, which isn't too bad, all told, for a fairly simple solution to the problem at hand. Now we've cut this down to just its minimum radius and then put the back box back into the car again on its mounts and we can see how well this fits. So this fits on here, it's going to come straight up out the top and you can see there's plenty of room around here, we can get tools in onto it, which is a really nice bonus to be able to disconnect the exhaust with ease, and we've got a much better shot across to our turbo over there. So we're going to tack this in, get that sorted, and then when we come to do the rest of the exhaust, just in case we need to tweak this around and redo any of the angles, we'll weld it up then, along with the cat and everything else. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment, it really does help us out. Remember we've got t-shirts available at shop.pedalbox.show which we'll try and get posted out as soon as possible with the lockdown. And if you go over to patreon.com slash pedalboxshow you can support us in our builds because we're still working, or at least I am because Chris is stuck at his parents. 
The brackets for the exhaust turned out really well. We're really happy with how they are. And we've also got these extensions on, which we've been looking to do for a while to try and work out exactly where the back of the car is going to be. So hopefully we're not going to extend this anymore. We've also got the inlet positioned and we can sort that out properly once we get the rest of the exhaust done and get that all welded up and sorted. Thanks very much for watching.